Hello, it's Divine Needle. My name is Nell. And Dee. We are a twin flame couple. We're going to be doing a reading for Capricorn. Yes, these, Capricorn. these readings are timeless. So, we believe when it reaches you, it's your time. So, yeah. Thank God to cut across. And, uh, yeah. So and don't forget to join us tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Central. Yeah. We, we'd like your earthly energies in mm. the chat room that'd be fantastic and you could get a free reading yeah could be if you are on time so yeah let's see what comes up for capricorn capricorn okay current situation for capricorn oh, yeah, i pre-shuffle these it's your energy current situation seven of cups mm -hmm. What's the challenge with the Seven of Cups? What is the challenge with this? Star cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just got a mental message. <laughs> okay. What's been going down in the recent past for Capricorn? What's going to go down in the near future for Capricorn? Wow. <laughs> six of Cups. Mm -hmm. Seven and six. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going on in your cautious mind, Capricorn? What are you focused on right now? Three major arcana. Mm -hmm. No wonder Gabriel spit out so much for Capricorn. Yeah. Holy moly. Six, right? Six of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gabriel spit out six of them for Capricorn. I think that's a record now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's going on in the subconscious Capricorn? What's the subconscious trying to tell you? Knight of Cups. Cool. How do you see yourself, Capricorn? How does Capricorn see themselves? Page of Wands. Okay. How do others see Capricorn? How do other people see Capricorn? Hopes and or fears for Capricorn. Not long ago. Judgments. Oh, just for a second there, I thought it was thunder. It's the neighbors. Okay, what's gonna be the final outcome for Capricorn? What will be the final outcome? funny you just said you heard thunder and timing yeah. is everything some of the readers get car horns honking mm -hmm. and I get exterior confirmation and you just got some too mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yep okay and the bottom of the deck underlying energy faith Dark talks about marriage could be having a strong belief in yourself or somebody okay so that's the underlying energy of, of this reading got something to add to it baby no no mm -mm. okay okay <clears throat> current situation seven of cups talks to me about a lot of choices choices and what crosses that is star cards and I had a me mental message 
that uh, you don't know what to wish for. <laughs> That's what I got shot in my head. So if that is correct, uh, I do not know. But yeah, that's what I got from this. How do you see that? Baby. Yeah, <clears throat> that's uh, pretty much what I say too. Just their wish fulfillment, is, their want for a wish fulfillment is blocking what choice, that decision they need to make. Oh, yeah. Okay. On how to move forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Recent past justice talks about uh, fairness energy. Now, I feel I gotta take a clarifying for this. Let's see what kind of justice that was. In what field it was. Let's check. What's this justice card all about? Queen of Cups. All about the emotions. Overly emotion. So, hmm, this could be a love. This justice. Yeah. Or the justice could be concerning uh, someone of a water sign. Mm -hmm. Cancer. Pisces Scorpio. Okay. Don't know how that resonates, but yeah, that's what flipped out, so. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be in the f of some way. Mm-hmm. Okay. The near future Capricorn, Six of Cups, talks about past life, fond memories, childhood memories. Okay. The Queen of Cups could be a sibling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's interesting to me is that these follow up six and then seven here. Mm -hmm. hmm. So there could be someone from the past coming towards you. You could have some uh, reflecting back on the past. Okay. Childhood memories. Could be something like that. How do you feel about it, baby? Yeah. Same. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so there might be somebody. Could be that somebody's coming in from the past for you, Capricorn. Okay. Conscious minds, you are perhaps meditating. It could be or taking a step back to gain wisdom. Okay. Yeah. You're taking a deep dive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On how to handle a sibling. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to gain wisdom, that is how to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the, um, oh no. In the subconscious, that's my advice position. I want you to take action. Okay. This could be in love. Uh, it doesn't have to be romantic love, but the advice for you is to take action. Okay. After you've done with this, when you are gonna be done with that, gaining wisdom, you should take action. That's yeah. what your subconscious is trying to tell you. Whoever your queen of cups is, you need to embody basically the strength card and use um, <sighs> compassion and love mm -hmm. regarding a situation that you may be having with somebody that is either a friend or family member, mm -hmm. likely a sibling. Somebody from your past. Yep. How do you see yourself, page of wands? That is learning as much as you can before you're gonna dive in deep. And I feel that has everything to do with this hermit card right here. Yeah, and the center card, the seven of cups, because there's a lot of options going on. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't think that really relates to the, the other part of the spread. I don't know why. Yeah. I think you've got a couple of things going on in your energy, like some decision you're making mm -hmm. um, that has a whole lot of multiple options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the cards. 
Yeah, it's a wish fulfillment. <clears throat> hmm. Well, it could also represent that they want more than just one thing. Yeah. Okay. It can also represent illusions or um, things like that. So in the in that way, it would match the rest of the spread. Mm. Yeah, trying to gain clarity of that. Mm -hmm. I'm learning as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. How do you see yourself or how uh, how do other people see you? I'm sorry. How other people see you or want to see you? Um, Ace of Wands talks about a new beginning passionate endeavor so I feel this is more of a wants other people want to see you and I think they want to see you taking a, a step they want you to make a choice okay or a decision or a move forwards okay because it seems like you have a lot of options here you know with hermits trying to gain wisdom out of that trying to make the right choice your subconscious wants you to take action too you're still seeing yourself in the learning position okay so I just want want you to take yeah take that new beginning okay don't know what that might be that could be in love too whatever was going on here is justice in the past okay that's how I see that how do you see that yeah yeah you see mm -hmm. okay hopes and our fears judgments this card talks about spiritual rebirth heating and calm ascension okay so hmm I'm having trouble with this card and this and what slot is that one? Hopes and fears. <clears throat> it's likely a hope that the situation in the center of the deck can be resurrected, mm -hmm. maintained. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Final outcome, the tower. <clears throat> this is divine intervention, okay? Something might go down in your near future. Okay, something significant. Yeah, and it has to do with um, the two future cards. Mm -hmm. It has to do, a tower is going to have to do with whatever's going on with that past person. Mm -hmm. Likely a sibling. It could be definitely be but yeah something's gonna go down that, that might not be bad at all it might be good also okay but yeah it's significant this card is significant it's gonna rock your world perhaps yeah hmm. okay and well, keep in mind the underlying is faith mm-hmm yeah, believing in yourself or a strong belief in something that might be a person too but it's a very strong belief okay that's how I feel that in this reading could be marriage uh, could also be a religious establishment is that the right word yeah. mm -hmm. but I don't think it is in this reading six major arcana Plus the chariots right under faith. It's interesting because the other readers are pulling it, these same cards, different locations sometimes, but the chariots, one of them. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. So there you go. That's your little heads up, Capricorn. I uh, don't know how that resonates, but yeah. Six cups and tower in your near future. Mm -hmm. So, but don't fear the towers. No. No. No, it's destiny. So, there you go. 
Okay, now let's see what the Archangel angels wisdom have to tell you. Yeah. Victory, <clears throat> Archangel Sandalflam. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So there's the faith card again. Mm -hmm. Plus uh, six of wands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Beloved one, Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Mm -hmm. That could be someone to do with that one. Mm -hmm. Whoever your Queen of Cups is. Mm -hmm. Next one. Spread your wings. Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. That's, that's awesome. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next one. Gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon. We angels bring you gifts from from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Nice. I haven't seen that one. Mm -mm. I feel. Huh. That's a pretty card too. Yeah. This is the last one. No. Yeah, there were six. <laughs> <laughs> Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay, that's the last one. Nice. Last one. Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Yeah, keep that in mind. You are God. <laughs> we all are God. <laughs> all pieces of. Every, everybody. We're all connected. Good and bad. Everybody's yep. God. Okay. So that was your little reading, Capricorn. I hope it resonated a little bit. Okay. Gives you a heads up about something coming in right here with the tower. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe. That would be awesome. And share. Share, share too. That would be cool. <laughs> and try to be there on Sunday, tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Central. Yeah. Yeah, hit the notification bell so you can uh, be informed and be there early. And then you might get a free reading if you would like that. Yeah. yeah. But you gotta be on time, so. Only first 10 people can get a reading, so. Actually, eight. Yeah. Approximately. It depends on how long they take, but generally it's, it's been eight. Eight, eight. Yeah, last time was ten, I think. Mm-mm. No? Eight. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there you go. If you'd like to join us, that would be absolutely awesome. And yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye-bye. Have a fantastic coming week. Ta-ta.